Hello everyone, um, I am back for another update video and it's been a while, a lot of things has happened to me, with me, this is starting out well, um, I got a new job, woo, uh, but it meant a lot of changes, um, practical changes to my schedule, day to day and also mentally because I don't handle change very well um, I'm probably not alone in that um, I'm filming this on my phone so it's probably a bit shaky but I didn't want to try to find and just fix my camera up um, so oops spoilers no, but I was very behind with my puppy in my shirt heart and uh, this is gonna be sort of a chatty video and I hope that's okay and I hope you can hear me. Um, so anyway, here is the heart. I began to paint it. Um, I didn't have red colors, acrylic colors, so I um, used saturated watercolors. And I haven't painted it at all because I just wanted to show you a bit. I covered almost everything with the clay. I didn't have enough because I worked on another cosplay project. Um, which I can show if anyone's interested. It was a giant helmet um, from a game. But um, I debated a lot about how to paint this and I saw like cartoony drawings with like blue over here and like some blue tubes or whatever and I just didn't since it, mine isn't exactly anatomically correct, I didn't want to try to paint it like an anatomically correct heart. Um, so basically I just decided to do it mostly red and then dirty it up here and there to look like, I don't know, it had been laying out in the sun or, I don't know, under dirt. Um, shaky shake, sorry. So basically, what I did was this color here. I hope I have water left in this. This is a water brush. I showed it in my other videos, but I never talked about it. You basically fill it up with water and you push here on the push button on both sides, and water should be coming out. Um, hopefully. Yeah. So what I did was I. No, I took a bit too much, but it's fine. I saturate it a lot, and then I go in and paint. One-handed painting. This is going well. Um, just to get like a base color on it. And then I dipped in, let's see, this one, which is kind of a more bluish purple and a little bit in the blue one beside it because they go well together and then I kind of just started muddying up that red color that I had done um, and I basically just go back and forth between those and try to make a nice darkish shaded look I like filming like this with my phone camera because I can get up close <laughs> it's probably very shaky for you Um, 
and I can't see what I'm doing so well, but... So, really that was all... <laughs> I'm shaking because my camera, more my phone, like, more likely. It's very big and heavy. And I feel a bit weak right now <laughs> when I shake so much just by holding a phone with my hand. But yeah, I, j I also didn't want to film this whole process since I knew it would be kind of boring. Because I basically did this and then dipped in the red and then dipped in the blue and then muddied up the red and just did a bunch of variants of that so but i wanted to show you just a little bit how i had done it um, and really it doesn't affect the papier mache underneath so much um, and I hope I'm not covering the microphone up. Oops, sorry. That's very professional. Um, what were I saying? Yes, it, it didn't um, affect the paper mache so much. Uh, especially not now when it's dry. It's just as hard as it was before. Um, so yeah. Um, I think that's what I, what I wanted to say. Um, I have a new project I want to do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on camera or not. I might try it a bit on my own before I decide to film it. But if there's any requests on what you want me to do, if it's uh, a papier mache thing or a sewing thing, I sew quite a lot or like watching sewing. But I don't think I don't think I have put any sewing up on my uh, website. My website, my YouTube. God, I'm very, very out of it but I just wanted to make a quick video because I hadn't in a while I yeah I might do a quick video about what I sew mostly because sneak peek it's doll clothes but yeah if anyone wants to see that, then just tell me and I'll do a video about the doll cl clothes I make. Um, and also if you want to see the cosplay helmet. It's not, it's my first big cosplay prop, so it's not perfect, but it did the job. So I hope you've enjoyed this little update and my gruesome looking heart. Um, and for all the Americans watching, happy Thanksgiving and I hope you have a nice holiday and I hope everyone will have a great weekend. So thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you in the comments and I'll see you hopefully more soon than this time. Goodbye!